Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of Miss B Pegasi. If you already know, now you know, baby. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, please make sure you do the right thing. Like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe because Gumnadi Lana. This is the travel edition of Vlogmas. We are going international. <laughs> We are going to Mozambique, Shai Shai, and Maputo to be specific. But for now, let's take a look at where we were staying for about three days. And um, this is the villa and resort tour. Stick around to the very end if you want to know more about the specs and the costs um, in detail. Enjoy!
you guys saw for yourself how beautiful the villa was um, I just want to talk you guys through I think some of my highlights and lowlights of staying at this place I think the first thing is that um, if you are try currently going to Mozambique or planning to go to Mozambique please do take note of the fact that they are still operating under lockdown regulations which means that um, you cannot continue driving on their roads after 1 a.m. so once we got to the border fantastic was amazing um we drove a little bit and at one o'clock when we we're about to get to our destination we were told to pull over and stop the car to talk it because we we're no longer allowed to continue to drive so a maybe 12 hour drive um for us became 24 hours we literally arri arrived at our resort um at 8 a.m uh, the next day when we had left johannesburg at 8 a.m the day before so that was quite a once you get to the resort, it's about a 6.5 kilometer drive up um, because it is beach sandy and obviously like most resorts, you are driving uphill for the beautiful views. Um, once we get there, um, we're welcomed by the native, which is absolutely amazing. The local people, they're really amazing. If you can speak Shangan or if you can speak Portuguese um, and a little bit of Zulu, you'll be able to really be okay you'll be able to navigate around the place which is absolutely amazing um we were then introduced to our tractor which you saw at the beginning of the video and that was our transportation <laughs> That was our transportation around the resort because the resort is quite big. Um, within the resort, there's a restaurant and also um, you have access to the beach. So if you're trying to move around the resort, it is quite a far distance between these places. So the tractor is there to help you move from one place to another. Look, it was great. It did its job. Also, the heat in Mozambique is boiling. So you actually cannot be walking like 5, 10 kilometers trying to move from your villa to the restaurant. Like it's actually... It's impossible chan like your makeup is literally melting just as you're sitting Jay. so um that tractor was really really amazing so while we walk into our villa we are we walking through beautiful greenery you're walking through beach sand absolutely amazing absolutely spectacular it's so dreamy um within your villa there's a private pool which is absolutely mwah, mwah, mwah. imagine having a pool on your left hand side you look up and there's the ocean like it's absolutely a dream like it's a holidays it's a holidays dream um the patio itself um, alongside the the pool um is has seats for you just to chill there and sit there have your drinks chill chill um it's really hot so obviously like you want a place to really cool down and that was the perfect place to sit. Um, when you enter the villa itself, um, you you are yeah you're walking into the kitchen, which is very very spacious. The entire villa, in fact, is quite spacious, and this is because obviously kitchens for a lot of people. So you have your kitchen, which has the very basics, guys. Like it has the very bare minimum. Like it has um, your uh, stove, it has your um, fridge, it has a toaster, and I think a microwave. Um, but very, very basic, very minimal. There's no tisha, there's no champagne, the bar, ain't none of that, okay? Like, it's very, very bare minimum. Um, so I would recommend that if you are planning to stay at the resort and only the resort, definitely bring your own things, regardless of the fact that there is a restaurant. Still, uh, bring your own snacks, bring your own drinks, have things that make it easier for you just to live there, you know? Um, then you have downstairs area, which on the left-hand side was a little sitting room, um, little cozy lounge area, no TV. I think they want you to just relax and literally wind down um on the right hand side is a dining room area where you can eat there have your snacks have a little snack board during the day we did that which is very very nice then you have your um pantry area where you can keep um yeah little miscellaneous things essentially then you have your rooms that can cater for a lot of people i think minimum is about 12 people there's two four six eight um, people that can sleep downstairs and then I think there's four beds upstairs as well. So it's quite a lot of people um, Again in your bathrooms. There's very very basic things um, Your towels get changed your tissue gets changed um, every day, which is really nice and that is it really I don't think there's anything else that um, stood out to me I think the highlight was absolutely having um, the easy access to the beach and having the pool option there um, really really love at Chuwanga Resort highly recommend it I think out of five stars I will give it a 3.5 
and I think the other points taken away is purely because it's really really far um, I don't know if I mentioned but I mean for, from Johannesburg to um, Shai Shai ordinarily if you don't have any technical issues or road issues should take you about 12 hours so it's very very far you pass a lot of places in mozambique where you can actually stay as well but i'm telling you you're not gonna get those views we did go to maputo as well but you'll find out more about that in the next vlog for this one that's all for now uh, please make sure you do the right thing make sure you like share comment and of course subscribe for me see you it's all love and i'll see you on the next one bye